Crime Scene is back on Netflix, this time discussing the Times Square killer, Richard Cottingham. So let's talk about this documentary series. Welcome back, movie watchers. Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. Today we'll be talking about Crime Scene, the Times Square Killer. This focuses on Cottingham, who was convicted in 1984 of six murders that took place from 1967 to 1980 in New York and New Jersey. The victims were sex workers and their murderer had earned the name The Torso Killer. This is a three-part documentary series. Each episode runs about 45 minutes long, and I was at first a little shocked to see how short this documentary series is because I've seen some that are just a little bit longer. But the way that it is structured, it gives it a solid beginning to the case, the middle part, and the end as well. It's really broken up into three different parts. The first episode really discusses the murders and Richard Nottingham and everything that had happened in New York City. And in the 70s, there was a lot of uh, new displays. You could put a quarter in somewhere and see naked people. There is a lot. Of, there was a lot of sex going on. So the way that this series was structured, not only did it focus on Richard, but also focused a lot on what was going on in New York in the 70s by showcasing the environment that he was in and what led to the murders. It's a different approach to a crime documentary series that I have seen before. It was very interesting to see how New York played a very important part in this crime case. And the second episode really dives deep into New York City in the late 70s, all of the sex workers, but also really focuses a lot on that these sex workers were dehumanized because uh, Richard is not a very popular name when it comes to uh, serial killers. When it came to people like Ted Bundy, there was a lot of media attention, but the show explores the fact that sex workers have been neglected and dehumanized, and when the sex workers were preyed upon, no one really did much about it. So it has also a very important message throughout the series and how Richard was able to get away with so much in the late 70s. And in the third episode, there is an actual interview in current time, and he admits to killing between 80 to 100 people when he was only convicted of killing six people. And now the number has changed to 80 to 100. That is, uh, it's heartbreaking, uh, everything that had happened to these young people. And the way that this interview is brought at the end of the series really gives it a terrifying feel. By showing the photos of the murders and New York City in the 70s, it just makes that interview really horrific to watch. The series is filled with your classic style of crime scene documentary series. Uh, you have footage of New York in the 70s, interviews with police officers and victims as well, family members. It makes sure to paint the picture of the 70s in New York and also showing gruesome images of what had happened. These crime scene series don't really hold back on showing exactly what had happened and making it really horrific and really disturbing to watch. But the way that this three episode series is structured sets up the killer, gives you everything in New York in the 70s, and then at the end, kind of closing the case, and then also having that interview. So even though I was surprised to find that it was only three episodes long, I really did appreciate the structure of it because we got a good beginning, middle, and end. Even though it was really short, I still found it to be quite disturbing. Even though Richard Nottingham is not well known, this, there was a little more focus on how these sex workers were dehumanized and neglected in the 70s when it came to crime cases. So the series was short, got straight to the point, focused on what it needed to focus on, give you a little more than that, and then closing it with that interview. So before I give you my score for Crime Scene, The Times Square Killer, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here, so hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot. 
I'm going to go ahead and give Crime Scene the Times Square Killer a B. Thank you guys for checking my review for the new Crime Scene documentary series on Netflix. Have you guys seen it by chance? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.